Hello there. Liu Kang is here. And I put together my weakest MK11 team. Hopefully it's not gonna remain the weakest after I, I complete this tower a couple of times because I'm I'm looking forward to a couple of fusions on that Cinder on a fatal tower, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so let's take a look at his passive again. So I, in my opinion, his uh, synergy with MK11 team is pretty, pretty weak. There is not much here unless you're facing pretty much uh, Assassin team. That's the only team that you're going to be good or Assassin Jade in any team. That's the only reason for you to have MK11 synergy in there. Blind also again, Assassin Jade is probably going to be the most common character to apply blinds to you. So unless you're facing Assassin team... Doesn't really matter what other teammates you have. What's the best thing about this guy? Outside of his synergy, you can get some free critical hit chance and a blockable attack chance by getting a bunch of concussions. So... I'm kind of curious to see how this works. Is it going to reset? If you attack to somebody else or not? Let me, some, let me give some gear to this man. Okay, the goal for the video is to get to 50 concussions. That's my goal. Let's see if, let's see how easy it is to do. Ooh, every hit of his combo counts. Oh, that's actually not hard to get to 50 concussions and I'm getting more and more block breaker from every, wow, from just hitting them. Okay, this is sick. He's already at 30. Oh, but it's only, it's applied to enemies and his special two actually has a snare. Impressive. <laughs> I love the sound effects. So you can apply snare to them and then just get insane critical chance and insane... Uh, wow, look at this. He has 80k. And somehow I almost beat him. If, he, if I didn't mess up right there. Wow. Wow. Wait, how am I facing such an insane team? This team is like four times stronger than me. Well, Sindel will clean it up. Wait, did they actually change the matchmaking? What is this? Why am I facing such an insane team? Wow, look at the teams we're facing. Okay, I'm actually going to need a full set of gear for this. Maybe it's because my I have a low fusion diamond team. That's why. I think I think before we, we also had that issue. If, if you have like a high fusion cards, you are facing weak enemies. But if you have low fusion cards, you're, you're facing hard enemies. That makes total sense. Don't, don't question it. I will not survive this attack. So I'm going to I'm going to do something smart. Ha! <laughs> that was pretty smart. Oh my god, yes. Alright then. Ooh, he has sick tech attack! Okay, we're gonna need... Is this grapple? I need to know if his special 2 is grapple. Ooh, I had a chance for black breaker. I think. Ooh, oh yeah, 30%. Oof. Okay, what is going on? I can't showcase a character when, when he keeps dying because I'm facing insane enemies. So, I was wrong about the part with unblockable chance of special attacks being useful, useless. Because take a look at, at Liu Kang's special too. He's pretty much guaranteed to land it because it's, it has so many hits in it. And, bro and block break. And apply snare. So it's pretty much like having a grapple. Just watch this. Like, I'm gonna make sure they're blocking, and then I'm gonna do it. Oh, he wasn't blocking. He's a dummy. But look how many hits is in here. Every single hit of these has 30% chance to block break. So we, we got a grapple, which, uh, I mean, the snare. Which means I can now be doing insane damage to these fools. Whoop! Let me do this. Okay, he's blocking. Watch this. Block breaker. He, you're pretty much guaranteed to block, block break and, and apply snare. Wow, and this guy fast as hell. His combos are so... I'm bad. I'm bad at this game. Okay, I can't do this. I have to. I have to. I have to do Fusion X because otherwise I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting wrecked by teams who are five times stronger than me. 
and I'm not even using any special gears or strategies. I, I just want to, sh to 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 test out Luke. I, I don't want to be dying so easy. I want to I want to live. So his special one doesn't do anything, but it's fine. So we're gonna do special two. Wow, the scream is amazing, and it's pretty much guaranteed block breaker. Like for certain characters, that would be absolutely useless. But for this character, look how many hits, like how many hits his special two has. So it's pretty much guaranteed. Like you can do it after combo ender, and it's pretty much guaranteed to land. Impressive. Yeah, absolute freaking destruction. And these th pretty much extra 5% of block breaker chance. You're going to be breaking blocks so much more than usual. It's absolutely incredible. Now, I will have to admit, at a fusion zero... There is absolutely no use for this character. I wouldn't use him in the towers for anything. I wouldn't use him in... Uh, in survive. I wouldn't use him anywhere. I think... I'm actually impressed by this man right now. I think he is much better... Than I initially gave him credit for. I think he's a very... Strong character. But you need to have him at high fusion. Like, literally... At least fusion four, five, six. The higher, the better. And considering that it's gonna take forever or take lots and lots of money, there's better alternatives. But he's actually better than I thought he was. I'm gonna admit this. He is fast. Like his uh, concussions are actually insane. His passive guarantees him land special to uh, snare, which can, w w which actually makes sense. Like this is the character that relies on people not taking out because you want to, uh, for for a person with concussions to stay. So that's why having snare and special to make sense in his kit. It's just absolutely incredible. I'm 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 really impressed with how well thought out this character is. However, he is not a tower character. He is. Probably not survival character unless unless you manage to get very high fusion on this man. Otherwise, there are so many better characters to use, unfortunately. Oh my. But maybe one day he will come uh, in the soul pack and then we're going to be able to max him out. And then, then he will definitely be very, very useful and strong. Would he be, if you compare, for example, Fusion 10 MK11 Liu Kang and Fusion 10 Classic Liu Kang, would I still pick, pick Classic Liu Kang? You see, the, the thing about Classic Liu Kang, why I still think he's the best card in the game, because literally at Fusion 0 level 1, like absolutely naked Classic Liu Kang, even more naked than he actually is, he is still pretty darn incredible. Like, it, he literally doesn't care what Fusion he is. You can just you you can never take him in, and he is still gonna provide insane value for your team. And even when you do take him in, you can just do a couple hits, then do a stun, and then take out, and continue dominating. If in case you need to, like in case one of your other characters died, and you still want to keep snaring, like he's he's good for it. He is good for what he does. Uh, getting classic Liu Kang, however, to higher fusions is not that beneficial because you most likely will not be using him as a damage dealer. There is many other characters that are much better at damage dealing. He is not a bad damage dealer, but he is not the best damage dealer. He is the best support character in my opinion, and for supports the fusion really doesn't matter that much. It definitely helps in certain battles where like it, it takes only one, so you have more peace of mind, he can take a couple hits, it's useful, but again, Higher fusion doesn't doesn't fundamentally improve his performance, in my opinion. However, MK11 Liu Kang, literally every single fusion you make on him is gonna exponentially increase his usefulness well, and power. So at Fusion X, both MK11 and Classic Liu Kang, I still have to go with with Classic Liu Kang. He's just 
he's just irreplaceable. His passive is so freaking good. MK11 looking, I think, if Max, even if not, like, the only reason I would use MK11 looking at low fusion is when I face uh, Assassin team, and I want to, for them not to evade at all. Okay, I actually want to do a Fatal Blow. I think he's gonna have MK11 Fatal Blow, and we haven't seen that yet. Let me let me get him let me get him some gear, and we can do it real quick. But if you were to compare him against uh, Fire Fist looking Fire God looking, I think he is better. I truly believe. Wait, what? Oh come on! Oh no, wait, it is. Is it? Yeah, it is his uh, Fatal Blow. I think. It looked kind of like X-ray at the beginning, but then it turned into Fatal Blow. That's good. Yeah, uh, a f f Flaming Fist, uh, Flaming God, Fire God looking is not even close to this guy, in my opinion. At least, at least for me, I, I definitely... If I were to rate all the Lukings, Classic the best, this one number two. And then Fire God, Fire Boy number three. And then Flaming Fist looking number four. Anyway, I, I think it's a it's a good addition in, to the game. It has its uses. It's definitely better than many other garbage they add into the game. So I'll take it. Thank you so much, and I'm happy. I'm happy I got him for only ten dollars. If you haven't seen that epic video when I almost choked on choked on an orange, you should check out my video a couple hours ago. It was epic. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe for more content, and goodbye, my friends.